Workflows in HoneyBook allow you to automate specific steps in the life cycle of a project. Once you've set up your workflow templates, the processes can be applied manually to individual projects, or you can have the system automatically trigger a workflow when someone submits a contact form. Let's take a look at how to do both. To manually apply a workflow to a project, find the project you'll need by searching using the search icon, or you can click the Projects tab to head to your full list of projects. Once you're in the project, from your Project Options toolbar, click the Workflow button. This will open your list of workflow templates, which you'll have already created. Click Apply on the workflow you'd like to add. You'll now have the opportunity to review all the steps of the selected workflow to make sure you know what's coming up. If everything looks good, click the back arrow to return to your workspace, where you can see that the workflow has been added. Remember that only one workflow can be applied to a project at a time. If you need to use a different workflow on this project, you can always click Remove in the Workflow field. This will stop any future steps in this workflow from triggering, and you can add a different workflow if you'd like. Now, let's look at connecting a workflow to a contact form. First, we'll want to make sure that your contact form is set up to be connected. Click the Tools menu, then Contact Form. In HoneyBook, you can trigger different workflows based on the project type that a lead selects when they submit a contact form. So you'll want to make sure that you keep the suggested field that asks your lead to select their project type. Remember that if you make any updates to your contact form at this point, you'll need to click Publish Changes to make sure the updates push to your website. Once your contact form is good to go, head back to the Workflow tool by clicking the Back button, selecting Tools, and clicking Workflows. Here, you'll find your full list of workflow templates, where you'll notice some drop-down menus. That's where you can connect a workflow to a contact form. Click the drop-down next to the workflow you'd like to use, and select which project types will trigger the workflow. You can choose just one, or have the workflow apply to multiple. You can repeat this process for as many workflows or project types as you'd like. And you can also select a workflow to serve as your default. In that case, the workflow will be triggered for any project type that hasn't specifically been assigned another workflow. And that's it! With these automations in place, you'll have more time to do the things you love.